Imagine trying to find a specific meme in your phone's gallery just by describing it. It's frustrating, right? Well, that's exactly what vector databases solve, but for AI. And trust me, after watching this video, you'll understand why they're the unknown heroes of modern AI applications. Today, we're unlocking the secret sauce that makes AI feel almost human. It's called vector databases. They don't just store data. They give AI the power to understand what you're talking about. And no, it's not magic although it comes pretty close. Think of a vector database like Google Maps for AI, but instead of tracking streets and addresses, they map the meaning of things, text, image, audio, you name it. They take raw data and turn it into something that AI can actually understand. Imagine you're in a city, pizza places cluster in one area, museums in another. A vector database does the same with data. Similar things like images of sunsets or synonyms like happy and joyful, end up grouped in the same neighborhood. Let me tell you about one of my early CTO nightmares. We were building a recommendation engine, but with a SQL database. Let's just say it was about as helpful as a chocolate teapot. Why? Because SQL is great for exact matches. It can tell you if book equals book, but it doesn't get that awesome and fantastic are basically the same thing. That project never left the R&D lab. But if we had a vector database, oh, we'd have been heroes. Vector databases thrive where traditional ones fail, capturing meaning instead of just matching words. Here's where the real magic happens. Vector databases rely on something called embeddings. Fancy mathematical representations that encode the essence of your data. Picture this. Every piece of data, whether it's a word, image, or sound, gets turned into a list of numbers. These numbers represent its position in a giant multidimensional space. Similar data points, like synonyms or related images, end up close together. Let me show you what that looks like with words. Here's how embeddings work in Python using the sentence transformers library, which basically results into this. Each word gets transformed into a high dimensional vector, essentially a list of numbers. Notice how happy and joyful have similar vectors. They're close in this multidimensional space. Meanwhile, sad and angry are further away because their meanings are different. Here's some of the top players in the vector database world. Pinecone cool kid everyone's talking about. Scalable, fast, and developer friendly. Milvis, the open source heavyweight with flexibility to match any use case. Weaviate, the Swiss army knife, perfect for hybrid search combining text, vectors, and more. Qdrant, the challenger brand, high performance at an affordable price point. If you're curious about any of these tools, I've linked them all in the video description so you can check them out. Each has its strength, so pick based on your project's needs. These aren't just academic toys. They're powering the systems you use every day. Here's where vector databases shine. Semantic search. Finding what you mean, not just what you type. Recommendation engines. Personalized suggestions that feel almost psychic. Image similarity search. Like finding all your sunset videos without tagging them. AI assistance. The brain behind that eerily accurate chatbot your competitors just launched. Let me break it down with a quick example. Say you're building a content recommendation system. With a traditional database, you're stuck with keyword matching. Tech news would only return articles with that exact phrase. But with a vector database, it gets what you mean. It might recommend AI trends, programming tutorials, or even that podcast episode on machine learning you forgot to bookmark. It's like hiring a librarian who actually understands the books instead of just alphabetizing them. Vector databases are more than just another buzzword. They're the secret weapon behind AI that actually feels intelligent. They're becoming as essential to modern apps as relational databases were to traditional ones. So if your next project involves AI or search, take a serious look at vector databases. They might just be the game changer you didn't know you needed.